Okay, viewers, it's now episode one of your MNNF series. MNNF meaning, as you see on the screen, maintaining micronutrient and macronutrient in your food. How do you maintain them? Because the generality of the disease we see today is as a complex of what we've done to our liver. The liver has been compressed by so much toxins that comes in uh, large quantity from the type of food we eat. And eating the food in, in essence is not the problem, but it's the type of extraction or should I call it preparation after it's been harvested is the problem that we are having with our food. Nowadays, our food do not get ripping before they have been plucked, before they have been soaked. And some of them have been overwhelmed with toxins and so on and so forth. We will be showing you an episode on how to remove toxins from your various fruits and your macronutrient food and micronutrient food. Don't forget, sometimes people have said things like using salt, you know, salt to wash vegetables, as you know more uh, old with it, some of you know this. But the salt actually has a very high heat. And what it does is kill the micronutrient in the vegetables or that food that you're trying to keep clean for your body. So in essence, some of the nutrient that you need from the food you're about to, you know, cleanse to eat becomes wasted or denatured. And this nutrient has been washed away using your salt. Some people would also say, I try using malt water. The, the high heat you give to certain food will definitely kill the nutrient. So we are going to give you a best method in which you're going to use to remove the toxins from your vegetables, from your fruit, from your tubers, from your so on and so forth. And at the end of the day, you have a very healthy nutrient reserve in your food. Then we're also going to go straight into how you extract, especially the micronutrient that is in your fruit and your uh, uh, vegetables. Because it's very important for you to understand this element. So I won't bore you much. As we know that micronutrients are nutrients that are needed in large quantity and they need to uh, feed the body as a whole because they are needed in large essence. So sometimes we don't really have much problem with macronutrient at all, but only that the way we prepare the macronutrient helps to preserve what we need from them or give you what you don't need. And this is the reason why we are taking our time through this episode to explain to you the best method that you can use to keep your macronutrient. And no matter how you're going with them, you need this method in your kitchen, you need this method in your restaurant, you need this method everywhere. So this program is for everybody. So I'll be taking you through. And also the micronutrient, which is where we're going to be starting from, because the reason is that the micronutrient has a lot of nutrients that the body needs to help you balance the macronutrient. And because you don't feed the body with the micronutrient, the macronutrients sometimes, even from the way you process them, it becomes difficult for the body to use them. And these are very, very important uh, uh, key to note. You must understand that your micronutrient helps your macronutrient to be properly absorbed and digested in the body. So when you have too much macronutrient, then the body becomes overwhelmed and at the end of the day, then it freezes the flow of your system. The flow, a healthy flow, a healthy circulation, a healthy digestion, a healthy nervous system, a healthy filtering system, and so on and so forth, becomes blocked and as a result of this, so many diseases will spring out of this. So for that reason, it is very important for you to know how to balance your micronutrient with your macronutrient, knowing how to extract them, which is your method of preparation, cooking, and so on and so forth. So today, I'll take you straight through the class as you have my colleagues guide you through. We'll be introducing you to the first thing I said, how to extract poisons out of your fruits, your vegetables without using salt to denature the nutrients.
Yeah, before you, you have three um, medium-sized pineapple. And the reason why we have the pineapple here is to show you how to remove toxins from your pineapple. So here we have our lemon um, washed and then we're about to go through the process of putting lemon into our mixture and the lemon we go most of the times we prefer the lemon go all into the mixture so you have the lemon mixed into the, the water okay so please for the sake of the video do not use the plastic uh, a metal spoon to scratch around the metal basin except you're using a glass basin if it's a glass basin yes okay but with the metal you don't want to do that because the activator charcoal has a tendency of sucking the metal the properties of the metal to itself so that is why the type of metal you use is very 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 important and for the safety it's better to just use a glass basin just to be on the safer side okay you want to add another four more lemon four lemon again we had four lemon again That's two tablespoons. That's what a metal bowl and see any inch here and so wooden spooner who bet me there no i make i am extra channel and this year and no 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 so we'll have this soaked like this for the couple of and half this year yes okay a pineapple After 30 minutes, come over and try to change this, the position of the pineapple. For some were facing down, come now and change them to face up. Just like what she's doing. Yes. And then face down. And then face down. For those who are facing up. So first thing you have to do is make sure everything face up first. So that after 30 minutes, you come and let everything face down. So that everything will be on the same direction for you. Those that were facing up will face down and everything will be close together like that, closely packed so that they could stay like that. But those that have meshed, you can leave them alone. Once they submerge into the water, it's enough. So one hour, we come and remove our pineapple from here and leave it in the strainer so it comes dry a little. Then we go ahead and blend. So 30 minutes a dry. We be make it sure say we be done it done it abroben. We be done it done it abroben. Nia, nia, a butu butu. We be done it done it no. Until one hour time no. We be some extra.